Okay. So we're not going to need any props today. It's just going to be our bodies and our mats in a nice, quiet, peaceful place in your home, if you have that. <laughs> so just take a few moments to settle into your practice and settle into your mat by just laying down on your back. You can let your feet be on the floor flat and have the knees touch. Let the palms of the hands face up and just relax the fingers. Begin to relax the space around your eyes and the space between your eyebrows. And then relaxing the jaw. And then beginning to breathe deeper than you normally do, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the mouth. Just trying to allow the body to relax as well as getting the mind to relax. So just trying to let any thoughts or worries go to the side for now. You can think about them later. But right now, just focusing on you, your body, how it moves, how you feel. That could be good, it could be bad. If you feel, don't feel great in one area, that's okay. Just be aware of it. Try to breathe into it and let it go. So just a nice, steady, deep breath. Flowing in and out. And then we're gently going to hug the knees into the chest and a gentle rocking left to right. Maybe make some circles with the knees in one direction, then the other. And we'll take the feet straight up towards the ceiling, just supporting the legs with the hands. You can point and flex the feet. You can make some circles with the ankles in one direction, then the other. Reaching the arms up and back to the tops of the hands, reach the floor. And just be open here for a moment. So open through the chest, open through the rib cage, being able to breathe with ease. And then we'll take a deep breath in, arms reach a little bit further back, maybe the feet go a little higher and then exhale out of the mouth, hug the knees into the chest. Inhale, excuse me, arms reach up, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. And exhale, hug the knees in. We're gonna let the left foot come down to the floor and then let the left leg go straight and just hug the right knee in towards the, the chest, the right thigh is pressing into the belly. Let your shoulders drop down away from the ears. And then we'll take the hands and move them to the back of the thigh and then just start to push your thigh into your hand. So you're pulling your arms straight Shoulders are going to reach down away from the ears. You can flex the foot here if that feels like too much. You can just soften the foot. Trying to reach your heel upward. Lengthening the whole back side of the right leg. Nothing forced, so if you feel a little tight here, that's okay. Just let it be. Accept where you are. And it'll just soften and let go. Try to feel the low back rounded down onto the floor. And 
let there be space around the neck. Take a full deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's hug the right knee back into the chest. Hug the left knee into the chest. Right foot comes down to the floor. Right leg goes straight along the floor. Pause here, hugging the left knee into the chest, letting your right leg completely relax. Breathing deeply so you can feel your belly pressing into the thigh, really good for digestion. And then we'll take the hands, interlace them behind your left thigh and begin to push the left thigh forward. So the shoulders pull down, the arms go straight, easing into the back of the left leg. You can begin to Flex the left foot, reach your heel up, let your hips stay down, and then just pause here and breathe, noticing the neck, the shoulders, and the back, lengthening and softening the back of the left leg. Easy breaths. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's hug the left knee into the chest. We're going to hug the right knee into the chest. Let the left foot come back down to the floor. Left leg goes straight along the floor. We're just going to take your right knee and draw it over to the left with your left hand. The right hand will stay on your right hip crease to try to keep the right hip down and away from the bottom of your rib cage. And then you'll take your left hand underneath the thigh, the back of the knee, and then just lengthen the right leg to the left. Try to keep your right shoulder down. You can support your leg with your hand either underneath or on top. You can flex the foot, turn the toes down as you internally rotate the whole leg just slightly and then pause here and breathe. So you're getting deep into the IT band, which can be a super tight muscle ligament that connects from the foot to the hip. So just pause here and breathe deeply. Take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, let's bend the knee Hug the right knee into the chest. Hug the left knee into the chest. Let the right leg go down to the floor and then straight. The left leg, the knee is gonna cross over to the right. Left hand is on the left hip crease. Just drawing the knee over to the right and then supporting the leg with your right hand. You're gonna lengthen the left leg straight or straighter. Straightish doesn't have to be too straight. Flexing the foot and turning the toes down. And then just breathe deeply here. Try to relax the back of the body, let it melt down into the ground. Breathing deeply. Inviting in softness and ease, letting go of tightness and stress. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's bend the left knee, hug the left knee into the chest, hug the right knee into the chest. We'll rock left to right a little bit. Let's take three breaths. Inhale, really lengthen the legs as you reach your arms up and back. And then exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Inhale, arms reach up and back, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. And exhale, hug the knees in. We're going to let both feet drop down to the floor. Feet are going to go
go about mat width apart. Arms can reach away from each other. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, legs will drop over to the right. You can turn your head over to the left. Inhaling to center. Exhale, legs go left, head turns right. And then just do that movement a few times. Moving the legs with your breath. This will help to ease into the low back and the hips. Lengthening through the tops of the thighs, the hip flexors. And when we can move the body synced up with the breath, it really helps relax the body and the mind. Tapping into the nervous system so that you can soften and ease your body and your thoughts. So let the legs return back to center. Bring the feet about hip width apart. Right ankle is going to cross over the left leg above the knee. And we're going to reach for the back of the left thigh. So drawing the left knee in towards the chest and then a little shift of the shape of your legs an inch or two over to the left. Take three really nice rounds of breath here. Inhaling completely. When you exhale, relax the shoulders, relax the low back and the hip. And then we'll come back to center with the shape of the legs. We're going to extend the left leg up towards the ceiling. Lift the head and upper back off the floor. You can rock a little bit left or right here just so you can find your center, find your balance. With the shoulders relaxed, you can take the hands out, reach a little higher up on the leg, maybe the calf or the ankle. Soften the elbows just a little bit. Draw the belly down, tuck the chin towards the chest. Nice, easy, deep breaths. One more deep, full breath in. And then as you exhale, let's slowly release the head back down. Left foot comes down. We'll take the right thigh and cross it over the left thigh. Hips are going to shift about an inch or two to the right. This way when you twist, your tailbone is lined up with your neck, which is elongating the spine. So we're gonna let the legs fall over gently to the left. Try to keep your right shoulder down. You can let the arms spread wide. And you can turn your head over your right shoulder. And then just pause here. We were talking before class about how as we get a little bit older, our body seems to have different things going on, whether it's arthritis or pain or osteoporosis. It's important to accept those things, but then also be super grateful, especially when you're in the middle of your yoga practice, that your body can move in the way that you want it to. And that you can find poses and find positions that feel really good. And that you know that you're doing things for yourself that are so beneficial. You're building strength and you're building bone density, but you're also taking care of your spirit, taking care of your mind, where you're just letting go of stress and any anxiety and just being right here in the moment, in your space, in your practice. Remembering that our thoughts control our feelings so that if we're feeling discouraged, just change your thoughts. Thinking about how grateful we are for what we have and that will help us to feel much better. Let's take a deep breath in as you bring the legs back to center. Uncross them, even out the hips. Feet remain hip width apart. Left ankle is going to cross over the right leg and then draw the right knee into the chest. 
So a little shift of the shape of the legs over to the right. You'll feel a little bit deeper into the left hip. Flexing the left foot if you'd like. But just trying to relax the body here. So relaxing through the neck and shoulders. Hips carry a lot of tightness physically and emotionally. A lot of stress and tension in the hips. So just try to let go here. Finding softness in the hip. And when I say let go, just think about as you're coming into the pose, we really have to kind of energetically and physically pull the leg in, push the knee away. But then once you're in that shape, really let go. Let the back body down into the mat, just melt down. Let the hip let go and release. And then you can bring the shape of the legs back to center as we lift the right foot up towards the ceiling. Maybe lifting the head and upper back off the floor, flexing the right foot, reaching your hands to be behind your right calf or ankle, soft elbow so that you can open through the collarbones and be soft through the neck and chest, tucking the chin down. You can rock a little bit left to right just so that you can feel balanced once you come to the center. Take a nice full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. Slowly make your way down let the foot come down to the mat. We'll cross the left thigh over the right thigh. Scoot the hips over to the left a little bit and then just let your legs drop over to the right. So it's the weight of the legs that is going to release your low back. Let the arms reach away from each other. You can turn your head over your left shoulder and just take it nice deep breaths here inhaling and exhaling and just noticing what you feel happening to the body in this pose if you can relax the muscles around the back and hips if you can feel your lungs expanding, opening into the rib cage, feeling the rise and fall of the belly as you breathe, really good for digestion and elimination, releasing toxins in the body. Take a full deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll bring the legs back to center. Uncross them, even out the hips. We'll hug the knees into the chest. Rock left or right a little bit. And then we'll take our time to transition up to sit. So you can either roll to one side and press yourself up, or you can cross one ankle over the other and rock yourself forward to come up to sit. And then once seated, we're just gonna come cross-legged. So hopefully that feels okay now after we've opened up the hips and the hamstrings and lengthened the spine. So we're just gonna take a moment here to just sit in this meditative posture for a moment with the eyes closed. Your hands can be palms down or palms up on the thighs and just feel the crown of the head in line over the shoulder the over the center between your shoulders over the tailbone spine is nice and tall shoulders are relaxed so we're just going to move with the breath a little bit here so you can inhale open the arms reach them all the way out and up and then exhale, hands come down to the heart center. Two more like that. Inhale, arms reach out and up. 
exhale, hands come down to the heart. And then one more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach out and up. And exhale, hands come to the heart. Here we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna take your right hand down to the mat and the left hand is gonna reach over and we're just gonna pause. So really grounding down through the left hip, maybe rolling your left shoulder back a little bit. So you're really getting a nice stretch opening up the rib cage on the left side of the body. This is creating space for your breath as you condition the lungs. Also creating space in the low back, opening up the spine. Take a deep breath in as you come up and then we'll use your exhale to let the left hand come down, right hand reaches way over, push down with your right hip, curl back a tiny bit with your right shoulder and then breathe extra deep. So when you inhale, expand the lungs, open up the rib cage, exhale to empty. Relax that bottom shoulder, the left shoulder. And then we'll inhale, come back up, and exhale, release the hands. We're just gonna come into a little bit of a twist here. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. As you exhale, you're gonna take your left hand behind you, but don't touch the floor, just let it hover. Right hand is reaching across the outside of your left knee, but you're not holding on to the knee. Draw your torso to the left, twist, like you're wringing out your insides. Good, inhale, arms reach up and over. Exhale to the right. Right hand comes behind you, but doesn't touch the floor. Left hand reaches across. Turn your torso by turning from the belly and the muscles around the spine. And then we'll move with breath a few times here. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the left, really draw the belly in. Inhale up, exhale, twist right. One more time, both sides. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale center and exhale right. It's a really nice way to strengthen those muscles in the core and around your spine. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, release the hands. Okay, we're gonna come on to hands and knees. So if you need any extra support on the knees, feel free to put a blanket underneath. Otherwise, we're just gonna come into the knees being underneath your hips, wrists underneath the shoulders, tops of the feet relax down and then we're just gonna take a few breaths moving the spine here. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the chin round the back. So just feel your back and your neck moving with your breath. Inhale, dropping down slightly, lifting the chin. Exhale, tuck and round. One more like that. Inhale, lift the chin and exhale, tuck and round. Coming back to neutral spine, we're gonna take the left foot straight back, keep the toes down for a moment, belly draws in, the right hand is gonna reach towards the front of the room, your upper arm is by your right ear, but your shoulders are relaxed. Just gently rock front to back, a little more challenging with the right hand lifted, just kind of stretching out the left foot, the left calf, through the heel. And then pausing when you come back to neutral, we're gonna lift the left leg. So flex your left foot. All five toes pointed down, especially the pinky. Pause here, a lot of strength going on in the body, as well as balancing. We're lengthening through the spine and deepening our breath. Take a full breath in here. As you exhale, the right hand comes down, left toes find the floor behind you. Pivot the right foot to the right, roll to the arch of your left foot. Now if you have any pain in your shoulder here and you don't feel like you can wait there on your right arm,
come down onto your right forearm and elbow. Otherwise, you're lifting your left hand up towards the ceiling. Weight bearing on that right hip and right arm and shoulder, you can come down onto the forearm if you need to. We can try to lift the left leg, getting a little bit stronger here, using the strength in the outer thigh and the hip and the inner thigh, try to draw your belly in. And just breathe here. Maybe lift the leg a little bit higher so you're getting a little bit deeper into the seat and the hip. Take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring the left hand down, pivot so your top of the right foot comes back to center. And then we're going to step your left foot up between your hands. So the left foot comes up between the hands. You can put your hands on blocks if you need a little support. My right knee is really far back, so I'm sinking down into the hips. Take a breath or two here just to pause. Curl the right toes under and see if you can lift the right knee. So we're coming into a low lunge here. The left foot is grounded down. The right toes are down, thighs are strong. The right hand is gonna come down to the floor and stay where it is, either fingertips, floor, or block. We're gonna twist the torso to the left and then reach the left hand up towards the ceiling. So just pausing here, feeling strength in your back thigh, getting deep in your left thigh, but the left knee stays over the left ankle. Again, building some strength in the joints, the shoulders, the hips, the knees. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're gonna let the left hand come down, framing your front foot, drop the right knee, top of the right foot relaxes. Maybe scoot your right left foot a little forward so that your hips can really sink down. Chest can open here, lift the chin. And then as you exhale, just pull the hips back, round the back and tuck the chin. Inhale, hips go forward, chest and chin lifts. Exhale, hips go back, round, let the head drop. One more, just like that. Inhale, hips drop, chin lifts. And exhale, pull back. And then from here, just come to neutral as you slide your left foot back. We'll take the knees wide, big toes touch, child's pose. So child's pose, just want you to relax here. So top of the, uh, the forehead rests down on the mat. Hands can reach out in front, but relax the forearms. Relax the wrists and hands. Let the shoulders relax. I find throughout the practice, it's really important to take poses where we just pause and just kind of check in. Where are you right now in your practice, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your feelings? Just check in. And if something is not feeling right or feeling positive, then just change your thoughts, change your narrative. How grateful you are that your body is moving and that it's healthy and strong at this moment. Take one more full breath in here. And then as you exhale, let's come back up onto hands and knees. We're gonna take the right foot straight back, toes are down on the floor. Push your belly in towards your spine, towards the ceiling. 
face is parallel to your mat, left hand reaches towards the front of the room. And then just a gentle rocking, front to back. So finding some balance, stretching out the back of your right leg, the right foot. And then coming back to neutral, we'll lift the right leg, flexing the foot so all the five toes are pointed down. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Belly is in strong. You got this. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, left hand comes down, right toes find the floor behind you. We're gonna pivot the top of the left foot to the left, roll to the arch of the right foot, right hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Again, if you need to modify, come down onto your left forearm. If you have a block, maybe you put your forearm on the block. So just see what feels okay for you and your body here. We're gonna lift the right leg if that feels okay. So notice here, we're really building some strength in the left hip joint as well as the right when you lift that right leg. So lift it with energy here through the thigh, through the seat, flexing the foot. Belly is in strong. We're weight bearing on the left arm, but not taking all the weight on the wrist. Really pull the belly in and up. This is a lot of core here. Remember to inhale and exhale. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, right hand comes down, pivot the left foot back so it's on the floor and we'll step the right foot forward up between your hands. So scoot your left knee back so your hips can sink low and your right knee does not pass your right ankle. Hands can be on blocks or the floor. Palms can be down or you're on tented fingers. We're gonna curl the left toes under and lift the left knee <clears throat> hip width between your feet, strong thighs here. Pull the inner thighs towards each other. The left hand stays down. Twist your torso, your belly to the right. Chest opens, right hand reaches up. So similar to the pose we just did, our legs are super strong, energetically drawing in. Weight bearing to increase some bone density here in the left shoulder. Lengthening through the spine. And able to breathe. Stay present, stay right here. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's take the right hand down. The left knee comes down, relax the left foot. As you inhale, hips drop down, chest lifts, chin lifts. Exhale, just pull the hips back, drop the head, let it hang heavy, release the neck. Inhale, doesn't matter what your right leg is doing, the hips are just moving forward, don't let the knee pass the ankle. But when you pull back, don't worry if the leg is straight or bent or the toes are up or down. Just lengthen and round through the back of the neck. One more time. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, pull back. And then coming to neutral, we'll slide the right foot back. I'm going to take a narrow knee child pose, but it's up to you. Knees can come down, hips sink down, forehead sinks down. You can let the tops of the hands rest by your ankles. You can sway left to right. Relaxing the space between your shoulder blades. Relaxing the hands, 
and the fingers and the shoulders. Take a full deep breath in. And then as you exhale, hands are gonna come onto the floor. You're gonna curl your toes under, lift the knees, roll back onto your feet. You're in a gentle forward bend, which means your knees are bent. And then you're just gonna slowly take your time, walking your hands gently up the legs so that you can come up to stand. Please take your time. I'm just going to adjust my camera slightly so that you can see my head. Okay, great. Just move my mat a tiny bit. Okay, so just standing with your feet about hip width apart. Take three breaths, just to connect to your body standing. Feet are down, inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, arms go all the way out and down. Inhale, arms reach out and up. And exhale, out and down. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach out and up and exhale out and down. Okay, from here, as you inhale, you're gonna lift up onto tippy toes. So you're up on your tippy toes, hands can come to your heart center, and then your exhale is just lowering the feet down. You can have your hands on your hips if you'd like, you can even reach your hands up. Inhale, lift up onto tippy toes, and when you exhale, just don't come crashing down. Slowly lower down. Maybe you move the arms with the feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So balancing, strengthening. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more, just like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, nice and strong. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Okay, from here, you're gonna step wide so your feet are parallel to the sides of the ends of your mat. And then you're just gonna pivot your heels in so the toes are out. Bend your knees so that your knees are over your ankles but pressing out and back. We're just going to lift the hands to a field goal and we're just going to pause here. So we're going to inhale, lift the left heel, exhale, drop the left heel, really slow and controlled. Inhale, lift the right heel. Exhale, drop. Inhale, both. Exhale, drop. Move your upper arms back a little bit. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, lower. Feel free to close the eyes. Inhale, lift the right heel. Sink a little lower. Exhale, slowly lower down. Thighs might be shaking. Inhale, both. Exhale, lower. Move the arms back a little bit. Open the chest. One more round. Inhale, left. Try to stay low. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right. Exhale, lower. Inhale, both. You can do it. Exhale, lower. <sighs> Straighten the legs. Let the arms hang down. Shake out the legs a little bit and then heel toe the feet in. Okay. So coming to sideways, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me. You don't have to. We're going to ground down through the left foot. 
We're going to lift the right knee. Left foot stays grounded down. Moving with breath. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, send the right foot back. Hands reach back. Lengthen. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. Inhale. Come back to center. Lift. Exhale. Send the right foot back. Find your balance. Find your strength. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale. Come back to center. Arms reach up. Exhale. Reach back. Lengthen. One more time. Inhale. Back to center. Arms reach. Exhale. Send that right foot back. Length, lengthen. If you fall out of the pose, it's okay. And then we'll come back to center. Lift that right knee. If you want to lift your left heel, you can. And then come back down. Whew. Okay, shake out your left leg. Catch your breath. Other side. Right foot grounds down. Left knee lifts. <sighs> Inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale. Reach the hands back. Left foot goes back. <sighs> Inhale. Come back up through center. Lift the knee. Exhale. Come on back. Inhale, back to center, lift, exhale, reach back, one more time, inhale, lift, it's always the last one that throws me, and then reach back, come back to center, lift that left knee, Maybe you lift your right heel for a second and then come back down. Shake out the legs. And then we're just going to take a few mini modified sun salutations just to connect with your breath and move the body mindfully, slowly, and gently. So face the front of your mat, feet are hip width apart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, soft bend in the knees. As you reach your hands down, they can just hang. Let the head hang. Inhale, let the legs go straighter as your hands come onto the fronts of your legs. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, soft knees, hang down. Inhale with the knees bent, push your feet down, slowly come all the way up, reach the arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to the heart center. Again, flowing with your breath. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward, soft knees, hang down. Inhale. Halfway up, the back is flat, chest parallel to the floor. Exhale, soft knees, fold all the way down. Inhale, come all the way up, nice and slow. So changing the way the blood is flowing in the body. Oxygenated blood flowing from the heart throughout the body. Hands to the heart center. Last one. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, float down, nice and slow, soft bend in the knees. Inhale, come halfway up, reach your crown of the head away from your tailbone. Exhale, melt down. Inhale, come all the way up. And hand to the heart center. This time we're going to transition down to the floor. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come 
halfway up. Exhale, hands come down. Step the right foot back, drop the right knee. Left foot goes back, drop the left knee. Pivot both feet to the right. Walk your hands back so your left hip comes down. Swing your legs around to the front of your mat and gently roll down onto your back. The knees are hugged into the chest. A gentle rock, left to right. Take some circles with the knees in one direction, then the other. We're going to take the feet down to the floor. Feet are going to be parallel, hips drawing into the seat. We're going to take your right leg straight along the floor. Palms are going to be down by your sides. So as you inhale, we're going to lift the hips and lift the right leg, but your right thigh doesn't go any higher than your left thigh. So you're just going to lift and then lower. Hips come down, right leg comes down. Just two more like that. Inhale, lift, hips lift. They don't have to lift too high. The right leg does not pass the height of the left knee. Exhale, lower. And just one more time, just like that. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. We're just gonna make one adjustment here. The left foot is gonna move forward. It can be a little or it can be a lot. The more, the more forward you go, the harder it's gonna be and the stronger you're gonna get in your left seat. So we're gonna take three breaths here, rounds of breath. Inhale. Lift the hips, lift the right thigh, not higher than the left, exhale, lower. This is not a big movement here. It's very controlled and very specific. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower, okay. Switching legs. Your left leg is going to go straight. Right leg is going to bend. You're going to have your right heel right in towards your seat. Palms are down. Shoulders are relaxed. Three breaths. Inhale. Push your right foot down. Lift the hips. You don't have to go high. Just don't go any higher than your right thigh. Exhale. Lower. This can be really small. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, lower. Move slow and controlled. One more, just like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. We're going to adjust your right foot. You can scoot it forward a tiny bit. Maybe you scoot it forward a lot. Up to you. Inhale, lift. Push the right foot down. Exhale, lower. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Let the right leg go straight. Reach the arms up overhead. Take a few deep breaths here, feeling the length in the spine, in the front of the body, opening up the lungs and the rib cage. And then we'll slowly and gently bend one knee and then the other, so both feet are on the floor. Adjust so that you can get your low back down as you draw the knees into the chest. Knees go wide, happy baby pose. So either holding on to the outsides of the feet or you can hold on to an, your ankles or your calves. A gentle rocking left to right. Feel the low back getting a nice massage on the floor as it lengthens. 
shoulders are away from the ears, releasing any last bit of tightness or tension in the hips. Feel free to rock the back of the head left to right to release any last bit of tension in the neck. And then when you're ready, slowly bring the feet down, let the feet come down to the floor. And we're gonna find Shavasana, final relaxation pose. So if you need a little extra support for your back, you can put a bolster or pillow underneath your knees. You can let the legs go out straight if that feels okay, or just keep the knees bent. So you can decide what feels okay for you. Try to relax the back of the body into the mat. So completely let it go. Trying to leave a deep imprint, like if you were laying in the sand. And then relax through the face. Relax through the neck and throat. Relax the shoulders. Feel the nice rise and fall of your chest and belly as you breathe. Let go of any last bit of tightness or tension that you're connected to or hanging on to in the body. Begin to deepen your breathing. You can bring some small movements back into, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, into the body, fingers, toes. And then taking your time to slowly transition out of Shavasana, unless you'd like to stay in for longer, you can. The beauty of practicing at home. So just coming to a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes. Let your practice settle in deep. We'll take the right hand over the heart, the left hand over the right hand remembering that we are all connected. And not only are we here with each other, but we're here for each other. Let's take the palms together in front of your heart center to honor your practice and honor each other. Namaste.